Jeez. Ooh, I can edit that bit out. Oh. Anyway, back in. Um, as you can see, I'm still absolutely soaked off Saturday. I'm still wet. Everything's still drenched. Um, this little video is about um, my preferences, my own personal choice, for winter camping um, sleep system. Just the sleep system. So after loads of videos that you can go back and have a look at, you'll see the cold weather ones. That's in real cold conditions. And I suffered on a few of them. So you upgrade, upgrade your gear through the years, and I finally come up with this system. It took us a long time to get here. I mean, if you're looking for budget gear, this is not the video for you, because this is not budget gear. But like I say, you know, I haven't just went out and spent a fortune on gear. I've, I've just built it up over the, over the last year, I think, 12 months. Well, I've had this for two years, it's sleeping back. So, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. See what you think. You can agree or disagree. Doesn't really matter. Um, Aye, that's it. So what we'll do is, we'll come down to the tent. I've got my tent set up in the living room. I know. Um, and we'll have a look at what we've got. Here we go. I might pop into the screen occasionally. Right, so first off, we have, from China and eBay, probably one of the best things I've ever bought, cheapest chips. This is quite a large one, like 100 by 200. I think you can get smaller ones, like single size, but you know, this is all right foil mat and not just a foil mat double sided one oh, so you've got two sides double the warm right so what you do is get that in get that in there excuse me turning me back you fold it over it makes it even more warm but um what I try to do is cover the whole bottom of the tent this up. So there you go, you're probably better off with a single one like, but that covers the whole of the bottom of the tent. So you've got that, and we'll cover in the base of the tent, so you've got all the the floor is covered. I mean, you can make it a bit neater, like. But yep, double so double sided is. I think is a lot better than the one sided ones. So that's the first thing: is your foil under blanket. These are cheapest chips. This is the cheap part of the kit. So that's about. I think I paid eight pound, eight or eleven pound. I'm not quite sure. Something like that. They're not much more. Possibly less. But the single sided ones, um, I think they're alright, but like I say, if you can get a double sided one, you've got the double insulation, so it's better, isn't it? Right, so we'll get onto the mat. I went mad and got this Sea to Summit X Etherlite XT Extreme regular size, not the large one. So this was £180 at the time. A lot, you know. Hell of a lot of money. That's the pack size as well. So it's quite a large pack size, but I do use a bigger um, backpack when I'm using this in the winter. So that'll fit in a lot. So we'll just get that inflated, right? We'll get this done. I'll put you back on the tripod. So with this mat, this sleep mat you get in the bottom of the bag is that's the air pump. That's in the bottom of it. That's attached, it doesn't come off. So you can't lose it. This is the um, other end of it. This is where the mat is. So here's your mat. You just roll it out. Take that off. And this will put some air in it. Put that on. And then See, someone tell you to do this. If you're outside and it's windy, just catch the wind. So, 
and just do it like that. I'll speed this bit up. That's it. So, take that out, clip that on, and that's your mat up. See, it's got the, uh, the stickers for the pillow, for your pillow. So that's the mat in. All right. I'll get the sleeping bag out. Now this is a um, seat to summit. It's like I'm sponsored by Sea to Summit, isn't it? Which I was. This is the Sea to Summit dry bag. And the size is medium. This is the medium one. Tight fit, but you compress it in, you know? Compression bag. And you just get the bag out. Spin it around. Fluff it up. That's it. That's your setup. So we'll just knock this camera off, bring it off the tripod. So there you go. You've got your, your mat there, your foil mat there. This R rating on this is six. I mean, that's the highest you can get, I think. That's like minus 10. Comfort, maybe some more. This bag is down to about minus 15. It's got it written on somewhere. I'm out of breath. It's hot in here. So that's your sleep system. Suit your summit mat. Rub scent 1100. And the foil mat. So after years and years, this is my final upgrade. Can't wait to try it out. I think I might die actually. I'm a bit too hot. But that's it, I mean, put your comments on, give it a, or a, I know it's expensive, but, you know, what price do you put on a good night's sleep in a winter camp? When it's snowing outside, right, and you're playing in the snow, and then you get in, and you're all lovely and warm, toasty warm. What could be better? Do with a wider version of this, like, but, you know, so it's all right. Yep, look forward to using it, which would be the mildest winter ever on record. So uh, that's my sleep system. <laughs> I'm pretty knackered. You don't need a sleep system just to get it out of the bag, it keeps you warm. But yeah, just keep the bags, I always just normally put the bags at the bottom of the, the tent like, so everything's to hand in the morning. Alright, that's it. We'll catch you later.